All right, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back, everybody. I'm the Doc Bob Lee. Hey, you know, the executive director of uh, Playing on the Edge basketball program is with us today. He shares today. Well, he's going to speak about the, the work that his uh, nonprofit organization is doing to mentor young men into leaders of the future and off the court, too. So you got to be rocking on the court, on and off the court, right? Yes. That's how you yes. work it. So please welcome to the show, Coach Saran Henderson. Woo! Coach <laughs> is in the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Coach, how did you get into this? Did you play ball yourself? I played ball when I was younger. Uh -huh. When I was younger, I played ball, you know, from 10 to 20 years old, yeah, 20, yeah. 22 years. I played a little bit uh -huh. of college ball. And the way we develop our program is because I felt like we needed something in our community. Yeah, yeah. We needed something in our community where we could talk to young kids about respect, responsibility, no procrastination, getting up on time and things like that. And I feel like that was very important in our community yeah, at yeah. the time. You know, when you tell somebody you're going to be somewhere or you're going to do something, make sure you do it. <clears throat> My father hit me off real, not hit me physically, but, you know, I told him I was going to meet him somewhere, I think we were on Jamaica Avenue, 179th Street, something like that. And uh, I didn't get there when I told him I was going to get there. <laughs> I got there about uh, two hours late. But he waited. He waited. I, he said, I know he's going to come. But when I got there, he let me have it. He said, damn, Bobby. He said it on TV just like this. Damn, Bobby. If you tell somebody you're going to do something, do it. Right. I still remember that today. <laughs> so I try my best exactly. <laughs> to make that happen. Exactly. So the kids get a chance to learn something, learn a little discipline. Yes. You know? Like, um, like just the other day, we had a situation where we had, you know, it was getting a little bit, you know, kind of antsy on the court. Yeah. But I was telling the kids about respect. Yeah. Respect, honor the, honor the game. You know, because you, you're you going to see that same person, mm -hmm. you know, in the next rum of when you're playing somewhere else. Yeah. And it's about the basic respect because things are not going to go your way. Not all but, the time. But, no. Yeah, but how you show respect, even when things don't happen the way you want it. Yeah. yeah. You know, so I just talk to kids about that. That's good, that's yes. good. How did you come up with the name Playing on the Edge? Playing on the Edge. We always on the edge. Yeah. <laughs> As people, we always on the edge. So um, I came up with that slogan because I used to live on Edgecombe. Yeah. Oh, oh, there you go. All right. I used to live on you. Edgecombe. You know, my wife and I was talking, and uh, we was like, what about Playing on the Edge? Yeah. So, so we came up with Playing on the Edge because we always living on the edge each mm -hmm. and every day of that's our lives. That's beautiful. Um, so, you're teaching your, your coach, you're teaching them basketball, but you're teaching them that respect that you uh, mentioned before uh, because they're going to have to use it in everyday life no matter where they're going, even after basketball. Right. Yeah. Right. So, w do you have any games coming up that we should know about mm -hmm. that we, we should have, go to? We have, a, we have a game. We had just had a game on Saturday. Uh -huh. That was a nail biter. Uh, we played the we Did played you win? The team. Yeah, we won. It's a beautiful thing. 50 to 49. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, it was a nail biter. Uh -huh. Yeah. So um, so I'm glad about that. Um, but we have we have games coming up right now, but I consider these games a college season. Yeah. So with the kids the kids that I have now, they're twelve and thirteen, I consider it a college season. So we have about twenty games. Yeah. Where we you know, where we talk to the kids about like we we get ready to go to a basketball event yeah. at Fordham University, because I know the director. Oh, okay. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to have dinner at Fordham University, uh -huh. and we're also going to watch a college game. Yeah. But during that time, I'm also talking to kids about, if you don't make basketball, what's going to happen? Ah, that's important. What's going to happen? What, what's going to happen if you break your leg? What's the, what's the alternative? Yeah. You know, so we, I'm talking to kids about computer science. I'm also talking to kids about advertising, marketing. You could be also in the game, yeah. but you could also... Sponsor, you can also get, you can also see sponsoring Nike, or you can be assistant coach, or so, you can be statistically um, dealing, dealing in the background. Like you just said before, yeah. during the early interview, about being in the background, seeing how, you know, we yeah. talk about things like that. Well, Make talk, a lot of money backstage. Exactly. You know? Exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, you teach them about getting that education. To, so, basketball, the physical thing doesn't work. You can fall back on the educational piece. Right. Yeah. Right. So that's good. Uh, do you watch any film with the kids? Oh, matter of fact. You can go. You, you can watch football. You can 
Because it has it has all the same things. It discipline, right? The things to do, um, uh, the necessary I, things to do to, to become successful. Right. So what um, we we just we just purchased our TV, uh -huh. our Samsung TV, just this past week. Yeah. So the footage that we have during the game, that I show the kids during during practice. Okay, what did you do right? What did you want? Instead of screaming at them, yeah, they yeah. can see their own mistakes. Right, 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 right. So that helped us a lot because sometimes you, I think as coaches that we scream a lot, scream a lot. But when you have this thing called a TV <laughs> and yeah. when they actually see it on film, they can correct their own mistakes. Yeah. Or they can get their, um, they can get ridiculed or the positive criticism right. from the other players during, during the practice that we have. Yeah. Even with TV, you know, people come on all the time and they like to watch themselves right. so they can correct their mistakes. Right. Radio, same way. You listen to your show to see, you know, some of the things that you can do better. And there's always something that you can do that you <laughs> Exactly, know, exactly. You're, you're never going to be completely satisfied. <laughs> but there are times where you rock and roll and, you know, you, you oh, <laughs> man, I'm zoning here. Right. Same thing with basketball. Exactly. Yeah. So that's good. So where do we go from here? A game coming up or uh, a game? A game, a game is coming up. We got a game. We have three games this Saturday, mm -hmm. and we also this is called for us. This is called twenty four, the year twenty four. This is our Mamba year. Oh, okay. This is the Black Mamba year, Kobe yeah, yeah. Bryant year. Ooh. So we go into, so we go into the Nace, uh, Basketball Hall of Fame, uh -huh. um, in August, on August twenty fourth, um, to commemorate Kobe Bryant. Because oh, he was about excellence yes. and everything he did. So we, um, I'm talking to the kids about trying to get into the, the little things of what Kobe did. And how can you implement that into your game? Or yeah. how you can you implement that into your everyday life? Because yeah. Kobe was all about excellence. And his, worth, his work ethics were like yes. <laughs> off the chain. <laughs> what? Yes. Yes. We'll be sitting here talking. He's in the gym. He's doing <laughs> something. He's doing something. Right. So we just wanted to, we just wanted to com um, this year commemorate Kobe Bryant this year. Yeah, yeah. Everything we do, we're going we gonna to commemorate Kobe Bryant. I got to get you a copy of the book. He's in one of my books, People to Know in Black History and Beyond. Mm. I have Kobe Bryant and his family. Uh, I have him in volume one, but I had to put him in volume two, too, uh, again, because... He had passed away, and I had a oh, wow. uh, host. It, it's it's crazy the way it was situated in the book. Okay. So, but uh, yeah, he's he's done a lot. Yes, he, he's got yes, history. He's done yes. some things, and his father was good too. Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah. I know. So we, you know, we um even even if I talk to talk to the kids about what Black Mama really means. So yeah. we watch we watch a film about you know the snake. Yeah. yeah. You know we watched uh, we watched. Uh, what what's, what is a black mama? Why people call them the black mama? Yeah. You know? did, did Shaq give them that name? I forgot how he got it. I was, I was watching a documentary. They, they said how he got it. I can't remember right now. Okay, I don't have that. We, we, I'm still learning that this year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think Stephen could pull that up and say, hey, this is, this is how he got the name. But, uh, <laughs> but it's, you know, it's always a good thing, you know, working right. with kids and trying to guide them in the right direction. Right. It comes back to you. Right. You get what you put in. You know, it's a, it's a beautiful thing. It's a right. great thing. And, then what, and also what we do, we have a basketball camp every summer. Yeah. So we, we try to emulate a little bit of uh -huh. the um, National Basketball Association. So we have a summer camp where, you know, parents pay, you know, 175 for the whole summer. Yeah. And we're working with the kids how to dribble, how to pass. You know, we're also doing footwork. So all that, all the skill development yeah. goes into the league that we're playing in right now. So we try to do like the NBA. We try to have a, like a big summer camp. Yeah. Then the kids from the summer camp actually go into the winter leagues. Yeah. Do you work with the Knicks? No. The junior Knicks? Uh, I worked I work with the junior Knicks, I think, yeah. for the last two years. Yeah. We worked with the junior Knicks where we won a championship. Beautiful. Yeah, and Ron Artest has a basketball camp, too. Maybe yes, you guys can collaborate. Yes, in Queens. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes, in Queens. Yeah. yeah. I, I paid a visit to the camp. But you need funds. You need money to help. We you. always, we always tap in. It. We have, we have, we work with um, um, the mayor, yeah. the mayor, mayor Adams. So we get, we do get discretionary funding. Oh, we, good. we get the funding. Yeah. But 
is a, is, you know, is a, is a little bit of funding according to right. the what you provide as far as receipts. And, so you need funding from people. Look, there right. they go right there. They got their trophies. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Um, I'm going to give you a camera, and I want you to ask for some some cash. Okay. You know, okay. Some people out there, they may, you know, they okay, may just okay. drop some, some ducats in your okay, pocket. Okay, that's always good. <laughs> um, use this camera right here. Okay. How you doing? What's going on? Yeah, we um we have a basketball organization called Playing on the Edge, and we just we always need funds. You know, like every organization need funds to, to do what we're doing each and every day. You know, we wanna we wanna provide free, free thing for kids, but we know, according to the economy, things things are going up. So you know, we don't wanna keep tapping into the parents and parents' pockets. The parents have their own situations going on. Yeah. So we just want to over provide funds for tournaments, for supplies, for things that they you know they need for everyday mm -hmm. things for where bags. Do they, where do they send it? Oh, they can send it to www.potebasketball.org, mm -hmm. and they can go on the donations. www www. Pote. Pote. Basketball. Basketball. Dot org. Dot org. Got it. Thank you, man. Thanks for showing up, Thank right? You so Thank much. you for working with our youngsters, helping Thank our community you. get what they need out of life. We Thank appreciate you. you. There he is, Siran, 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 Siran Henderson, Executive Director, Playing on the Edge Basketball Program Incorporated. Thank you, man. Okay. Thank you. All right, we'll take a quick break. I've got more. Wait, I've got more coming up next. Mm -hmm.